Well, since it's our first Father's Day, we'd like to do something special, something memorable. I'm really excited that Austin and Tommy are finally dads. How do I feel about Paris? <laughs> I love Paris. Paris is lined with flower markets galore. You are looking so good. Are the seasons overwhelming you and you're stuck in a holiday rut? Not to worry. Adja was a skilled baker with her very own local bakery shop. Denise is a crafting and sewing expert extraordinaire. And I'm a passionate florist who just wants everyone to enjoy flowers as much as I do. Between the three of us, we'll get you in the mood. And give your holiday celebrations a personal handmade touch. One that's unique, crafty, and delicious. Together, we're going to give you a holiday makeover. This baby is jumping for joy because it's Father's Day. Well, since it's our first Father's Day as fathers, we'd like to do something special, something memorable, just to mark the occasion. A special Father's Day for two dads with a very sweet story. Having a family has always been very important to me. Ever since I was young, I always pictured my life having a kid. Before I met Austin, when I thought I was probably just going to be single forever, I'd come to the decision that I would have a kid by myself if that's what it meant. But thankfully, I didn't have to do it alone. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I feel like we're more interested in the toys than she Yeah, I know. Oh, totally. When we got the call that told us that we had been chosen to adopt a baby, we picked up the call outside, and we just freaked out. We were thrilled. It was a beautiful day. Yeah. Madeline is the name of our daughter, and she's perfect. She's like a miracle baby. She's so cute. She's super chill. The feeling of being a dad is different than anything I've really felt before. Night-night. Okay. Night-night. Father's Day is the perfect time to honor new dads. The girls and I are here to find out what kind of party Austin and Tommy want to throw for Father's Day. This is my cousin Austin. This is Hi. Tommy. Hello. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you guys. We are here for Father's Day. Well, it's our first Father's Day ever as fathers for both of us, so we kind of want to mark the occasion. We'd like to do something special. Maybe special with flowers. Absolutely. <laughs> we love hydrangeas and lilies. That's what we had at our wedding. And for yeah. sweets, what did you have in mind? Chocolate. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes. And There's caramel. And caramel? We, we like Those caramel. We love caramel. Chocolate yeah. and caramel together is even better. But we need a theme, right? Are you going to fly us to Paris? So Austin and Tommy love Paris. And there really can't be any party without a Parisian theme. I love Paris. I think it's beautiful. And it's the place where Tommy proposed to me on a surprise weekend trip. So is there anything that you guys feel that you're missing, maybe, that you're looking for as fathers? I was actually hoping for this Father's Day to have a nice family portrait of the two of us with Madeline. When we've been buying baby things, I found that all of the memory books, the baby books, they all have to do with mothers, and oh. there's no yeah. mother in this equation, right. so yeah. it was a little frustrating. Let me work on something. I think I have an idea for how I can make a special book for dads. That would great. be great. You guys need to be celebrated. We'll chat. We have lots to talk about. Great, yeah. perfect. Okay, all right. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. I can't wait. I have visions of those street corner markets with flowers just oh, oh, really yes. lush and beautiful. I think I want to use the Eiffel Tower. They have it everywhere. Maybe with cake somehow? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they said they don't have a family portrait. I've got a photographer friend I can send over and get one done. I'll figure out a great way of presenting it. Yeah. And then the baby book. They definitely need a baby book yeah, specifically for fathers. So I'll think of something, a way of bringing it all together. <laughs> but now, really, we should we go should, to Paris. We should probably yeah, we go, just for inspiration's yeah. sake. We're excited Tommy and Austin want to throw a Paris-themed Father's Day party. Adjo is back at her bakery to start brainstorming. So for Austin and Tommy this Father's Day, I am making them an Eiffel Tower cake stand. It's not your average tiered cake stand. It's going to have levels of cake, some of it suspended in between the levels of the Eiffel Tower. I'm so excited and kind of interested to see how it's going to work out. I'm trying to figure out how to make the tower stand on its own. My process for the Eiffel Tower will be to plan the entire thing out first, just to make sure that all the pieces will fit and that they'll stand on top of each other safely. Then I'm going to make the pieces, dry them out, bake the cake, then make some flowers for decor. This is going to be amazing. I hope it'll stand. Time to start building. So I'm building the foundation, which is going to be the basic structure of the Eiffel Tower. 
For me, it's really important to build the model before I actually build the structure because having two layers of cake suspended could be a disaster if it's not done properly. And that is going to be our Eiffel Tower. Now I've got to cut these pieces out and get the cake baked. Can't wait to see how it's all gonna look together. So I'm gonna get the chocolate cake ready for the layers in between the Eiffel Tower. Tommy and Austin have told me that chocolate and caramel are their favorite flavor, so the cakes I'm making for the Eiffel Tower are all chocolate with caramel buttercream. The entire cake stand is going to look like the Eiffel Tower. You're gonna be able to see through the girders, and there'll be three layers of cake. Okay, so we've got our two bases that are gonna go on the two center parts of the Eiffel Tower. Start with a smaller one first and split it in half. And then we've got our caramel buttercream here. And just spread it evenly on the middle layer. I am so excited to bake something for Tommy and Austin's first Father's Day because clearly it's something they've wanted for so long. And like always, it's just such an honor to be able to do something for someone that is memorable for them. I think I know who to use the leftovers for. That would be me. Happy icing. You are looking so good. I'm so excited for you to be part of this tower. Time for me to get started. Let's go. Hi, Dad. I'm going to make them a baby book. But it's not just any baby book. I love it. This year, Austin and Tommy are celebrating their first Father's Day as dads. They love Paris, so we're throwing them a French-themed Father's Day party filled with dessert, crafts, and floral decor that will transport them to the streets of Paris. <laughs> but now, really, we should we go should, to Paris. We should probably yeah, we go. Do. The one thing I find about Father's Day is because so much is focused on mothers, there's not a lot out there for fathers. So I feel as a maker, as a crafter, this is such a great opportunity for me to be creative and to come up with something that's unique and that's special. Maddie is just the sweetest little pumpkin pie. For Austin and Tommy's Father's Day celebration, I'm making a baby book and I'm taking a frame for their family portrait and I'm gonna DIY the family frame, make it a little bit more Parisian and a little vintage looking. Austin is one of my cousins. I'm really excited that Austin and Tommy are finally dads. It's a completely different world, which they're learning. It's just that extra level of family. And I know that's something that they've wanted for a really long time, and to see it all come together, it's wonderful. This is the day that they brought her home. That's very special. So maybe what I can do is have a father's story. For Austin and Tommy's Father's Day celebration, I'm going to make them a baby book. But it's not just any baby book. I'm creating something that is memories about their relationship, their relationship with their daughter Madeline, and then it's going to grow through the years. It can talk about how they met, where they fell in love, when they brought Maddie home. Yeah, that's it. To make the book first, I'll figure out which pages I'll be making. Then I'll collect images and papers and little accessories, just anything that can go together to make the pages beautiful. They fell in love in Paris. I have this gorgeous paper. I definitely want to bring that in. Scrapbooking is starting with a photograph and then incorporating different elements, different words, to really build an entire page around that individual photograph. So each one of those design pages then layers on top of another and you create this beautiful album filled with memories. I love it. Paris. Paris is lined with flower markets galore. I want to bring that to Austin and Tommy and make it feel like there's a flower market in their beautiful apartment. For Father's Day, for Austin and Tommy, I'm making a really sweet flower cart idea that a proprietor would sort of wheel around and stop near a park or uh, near the theater where people could stop by and grab flowers for their lovers. And I could also have some loose stems that people could come up and sort of hand choose their own bouquet, which would be really cute. If I can build it in a way that it has sides, I could then string some lights because the nighttime in Paris is really magical. 
have a beautiful old pram that I could maybe disassemble and create the base of the flower cart. I thought that'll be the perfect base because it's already designed to take the weight of the bassinet and the baby. So it should easily take the weight of some flower buckets. And it'll look super cute. Say parfait. Time for me to get started. ASAP. Let's go. Hi, Dad. What's up? Thank you for coming to help me. My pleasure. So we have a big project ahead. OK. I brought my dad in to help me. No brainer. He's fun to work with, too. I just love having him around. And I love his take on things. He either goes really grand and I simplify, or I'm too simple and he helps me see how to do something uh, efficiently and, and make it beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. We're going okay. to do it. that idea? Wooden box? Like yeah, that? I think this is like you were suggesting to have it this way yep. rather than building it this way because okay. then if we don't want it to be top heavy at the okay. front, the process for building the flower cart, I've got to build the flower tray, add in the dowels for the sides, sand it down a bit, paint it up, add in the market buckets with the flowers, a little bit of moss, some string lights, and it'll be beautiful. Easy? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I do not want to set myself up for disaster. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, this looks awesome. Let's see how A we look. A moment of truth. Started making our projects for Austin and Tommy's Father's Day party. Adjua's made her chocolate caramel cakes for the edible cake stand. Denise is making her baby book. And I've called my dad in to help me build a beautiful Parisian flower cart. Easy? Easy peasy. I don't have any concerns with the cart. I want to make sure that I keep it relatively small because the space isn't huge. I want to make sure it's sturdy and that it isn't going to collapse one way or the other and hurt anybody. But ultimately, that's why my dad's so great because he'll help engineer this thing. You see, they don't have to be in straight lines. If they're a little bit random, I, I, I think that works. OK, I agree. Let's do it. The market buckets that we're using are very reminiscent of what you would see all over the European flower markets. They're beautiful. I'll be using flowers that are essentially in season. So we'll see a lot of tulips, snapdragons, maybe some peonies, carnations. Let's see how a we look. A moment of truth. It's a fat little baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. OK. It's perfect. OK. Yeah. So now we're going to put the sides on to be able to hang the globe lights. Reminds me when you were a baby. Aw. Oh, wow. I could probably fit in there still. <laughs> Ooh. Miss me. Don't do Miss that. Me. Miss me. That is not funny. <laughs> it's been so fun working with Dad. We always have a great time. Truly, I could work with my dad every day. There aren't many people who could say that, I think, with their parents. But Dad and I have a great rapport, and it, the project has exceeded my expectations. I'm really excited for it to, to start beautifying it. I think it looks really good. This is amazing. There you go, You Kendall. help me make this so fast and easy, and it's beautiful. Good. Thank you so We're done. much. We're done. OK. I'm really happy to be making this book for Austin and Tommy. It means so much to me to be involved in something that's so meaningful to them. My pages are all done for the baby book, and now it's time to do the cover. So I've got some chalky paint. Oh, beautiful. All right, we're done, and it's perfectly Parisian. I can't wait to present this to Austin and Tommy. I think they're going to love it. Because Austin and Tommy and Maddie don't have a family portrait, I sent over one of my photographer friends. I'm going to create a beautiful frame, make it all Parisian, do some DIY action on it, and then the family portrait gets a beautiful home. I'm using a chalky paint, because that way I don't have to stain or sand it. I can just brush it on, and I'm doing a dry brush technique. Dry brushing is perfect for this frame because it doesn't put paint into the crevices and into those little details. That way you can have that dark color coming forward and then you have multiple colors and it just gives it a beautiful vintage feeling. Okay, it is wax time. This is going to seal it. This is going to finish everything up. I'm getting right in all the creases. I want to make sure this paint doesn't budge. 
The frame is looking beautiful. You know, it was a gorgeous frame to start, but with this little coat, the dry brushing of the chalk paint over top, it just looks that much better, and it looks so perfect for our Parisian theme. Wow, this looks awesome. I'm going to start with the lilies for the decor on the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to have the hydrangeas and lilies spiraling up the Eiffel Tower. I'm also going to paint a bit of gold on some of the flowers because it'll give it that luxurious Parisian feel. I'm making a ruffle on the side of the lily. The lilies are made petal by petal, and once they're dried, they're tied around the center of the flower, and I'll throw a bit of gold luster dust on there to make it sparkle. I love Paris. I have been right at the base of the Eiffel Tower. It's just so grand. So now I've got the base shape. I'm going to make a cutout for the center and cutouts for the girders. I'm going to need a lot of patience to complete this properly. There's a lot of pieces that I know deep down I'm going to want to rush and put the whole thing together right away. I don't know that that's the best plan. Because it's basically gum paste and fondant, everything is going to need its time to set. I'm putting the middle piece of the tower together. I feel like it's not a good idea to put this on here right now. I feel that I should let this dry because I do not want to set myself up for disaster. I'm assembling the tower and it's looking like these pieces are not going to be as completely dried as I had hoped. Okay, here, I've got a plan. Let's try something. Okay. Amazing, but not sturdy enough to put another cake on top. So, and it still has detail needed, so it's still got a long way to go. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day, and this Eiffel Tower is not going to happen either. I mean, it will happen, just not in a day. It'll be hard to top this Father's Day celebration. Look at the huge flower cart. I'm at Austin and Tommy's, and I'm just starting to put the cake together. Nice and I have put the final touches on our projects. Adjua's edible cake stand still has to be built. At the shop, there was no way I was going to get everything put together. The face just was not dry enough and not sturdy enough to stack anything or travel with or add flowers to. So I decided to just let it dry and work on the other pieces and then assemble on site. So I'm at Austin and Tommy's, and I'm just starting to put the cake and tower together. One of the cakes got a little bit droopy, which is the downside of having it sit in the fridge for so long. So what I ended up doing was ripping off some of the pieces and putting them back on after it was already assembled. The cake tower is assembled, and I am over the moon, so happy. And I, like, I don't know what I had in mind. I just was sort of going on a hope and a prayer that it would all come together, and I'm really glad that it did. Denise's cousin, Austin, and his husband, Tommy, asked us to help them throw a party to celebrate their first Father's Day as dads. They wanted it to be a Parisian-themed gathering with handmade goods and delicious treats for their family and friends to feast their eyes on. We hope they love what we've made for them. Wow. Amazing. Wow. It's amazing. Paris? Yeah, love it. it's crazy. Adjua made an edible cake stand inspired by the Eiffel Tower with chocolate caramel cakes suspended in the middle. This Eiffel Tower cake stand is a two-foot-tall structure made entirely from fondant. Adjua decorated the tower with hydrangeas and gold luster-dusted sugar flowers, which spiraled from top to bottom. Also, delicious French treats like profiteroles, madeleines, and sugar cookies shaped like Eiffel Towers filled the rest of the dessert table. Look at the huge flower cart. I it's a whole cart. All the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> My dad and I created a flower cart inspired by the flower markets you'd see in Europe. Guests will be able to pick their flowers to make their own bouquets. Ranunculus, tulips, hydrangeas, lilies, and other luscious flowers filled this pop-up cart to the rim. Edison bulbs intertwined with vines reminiscent of bistros found in Paris were added on as a finishing touch. I made this father's book for you. Oh. Finally, Denise used her scrapbooking skills to make a beautiful baby book for Austin and Tommy to display memories and milestones in Madeline's life. Each page is filled with embellishments, different textures, and finished with hand-sewn edges. 
Denise also found the perfect frame for the family portrait. Yeah. And the picture is beautiful. I love the picture. Huge. She painted the frame with a dry brush technique. The matte chalk paint highlighted its ornate details, giving it an antique feel and was a perfect match for the Parisian theme. Are you ready for the party, Madeline? Are you ready for people? She wants the cake. Oh. She wants the cake. <laughs> It'll be hard to top this Father's Day celebration, but it's been great. We're overwhelmed. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I think the flower cart was a huge success. I think they were shocked by how many flowers I was able to fit into their apartment. I'm ecstatic about the way it turned out. Even just stacking it, I'm glad that went relatively smoothly. I think Tommy and Austin were really happy about it, too. Austin and Tommy were so pleased with the family portrait, and they really lit up looking through the baby book. I think it's something they're going to enjoy for years to come.